Common people expressed anger over prices of rawhide, while China's owner said the amount of export in close to zero. Ahead of first working day after the Eid vacation, holidaymakers started returning to the capital. And at least two people killed and 50 others injured in separate road accidents in Dhaka Chortogram Highway. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV News. On behalf of My TV channel, I'll pose your Russian actor wishing you Eid Mubarak. Viewers, you are watching the headlines. Now, the details. While common people have expressed anger over prices of a rawhide, middleman and sectional leather traders said they have been caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. The collected animal hides can neither be sold due to the very low prices, nor can theirs be preserved owing to increasing maintenance costs. Wholesalers and tanners are unwilling to buy animal skins from the small traders for the price sought. The seasonal traders and wholesalers buy raw hide at the prefix rate of the government. But when middlemen and the tanners do not buy the raw hide at the scheduled time, small businessmen have to spend more money for preserving the animal skin. But Bangladesh Tanners Association told reporters that in the last three months, the amount of export to China is close to zero. Tannery owners also said that because of shifting of the tanneries, from Hazaribagh to Sava, around 225 tanneries are closed down. In the leather industrial city of Sava, there are 155 factories, out of which only 115 are capable of processing leather now. The rest of the factories haven't completed their infrastructural setup. Ahead of their first working day after the Eid vacation, holidaymakers started returning to the capital on Saturday after celebrating the Eid al-Azha with their families in their hometowns. Moderate crowds of people coming back to the city were found at railway stations, bus and launch terminals, but the pressure of the returners is still low. Joint director at Naval Traffic said 70 launchers reached Shodrakat launch terminal from 20 three roads. He said the number of returning passengers is not that much high yet, but it will increase on Sunday. Meanwhile, trains were returning about half an hour behind the schedules on average, causing delay to the departure of the outgoing ones. As the festive mood of Eid vacation has not lost its charm yet, those who did not leave the city for its celebrations enjoyed the city-free home traffic jams, noise and crowd. This year, along with the three-day Eid holidays, most of the holidaymakers got additional two days off Friday and Saturday. Dhaka is expected to get back to its unusual bustle on Sunday when people will be returning to the capital in their thousands from Saturday night. Thousands of Rohingya refugees stressed angry protests for justice Saturday on the first anniversary of a Myanmar military crackdown that sparked a mass exodus to campus in Bangladesh. Many wept as they recalled the brutal killings and rapes inflicted on the Muslim minority last year as a 7 lakh fled across the border. The biggest refugee camp in the world is regularly controlled by Bangladesh authorities and the peaceful but treasure Rohingya marches and rallies seen there were unprecedented. Myanmar authorities, who insist their forces only targeted in judgments, have made an agreement with Bangladesh to repatriate refugees but not uh, how they have gone back. Rohingya leaders say the exits will not return home unless their safety is granted. BNP Joint Secretary General Ruhul Kabir Rizvi said the remarks of ruling party leaders shed that a politically repressed verdict will be given in the August 21st Grenada attack case. The senior BNP leader made the assertion at a press briefing in Pakistan's Napolitan Party office today. 
Alia on Friday, ALGS Abdul Kader, also road to transport and bridges minister, said BNP will face a new crisis after the verdict of the Granada attack case is pronounced in September. Mentioning that the government might be hatching new plot against BNP in the coming days. Rizvi warned the ruling party saying it doesn't matter how much conspiracy you do against us because it won't help us stopping your ultimate collapse. At least two people were killed and 50 others injured in separated road accidents in Jigatola and Raipur areas of Daudkandi Upazila of the district on Saturday morning. Identities of the deceased could not be known immediately. Sosa said that two passenger buses plunged into a roadside ditch in the area when the drivers lost control over the steering leaving the two people dead and injured 50 others. Later, fire service rescuers rushed to the spot and sent the injured to a local hospital. Viewers, that's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News Online, visit www.youtube.com slash News. And to watch all your programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30pm. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.